I'm Marcus Breed. I use he, him, or they, them pronouns, and I'm from Orlando, Florida. <laughs> I am so proud to be here to present the award for Student Advocate of the Year because advocating for the LGBT community is very important to me. Being half white and half Chinese, while also queer and trans, has been a powerful opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> It's been such a powerful opportunity for me to bridge the gap between my two cultures. As the president of my school's Alliance Club, I have been dedicated to making my school and community a safe space where students can express themselves no matter what their identity is. I'm also a science-focused student, and I've been a strong proponent of ensuring queer inclusivity in the STEM field. Can you imagine a world in which every child can grow and learn in safe and truly inclusive schools? <laughs> in, tr <laughs> in truly safe and inclusive communities. I want this world, and I suspect if you're here tonight, you do too. And that's why I'm so happy to be here tonight to honor one of the tens of thousands of students across the country who are leading the charge in their own schools. I'm also glad to introduce Milo Ventimiglia tonight to present the Student Advocate of the Year Award. Thank you, Marcus. Thank you very much. I'm very glad to be here. Uh, I am Milo Ventimiglia. I use he, him pronouns. Um, and I'm very stoked to be here tonight at the Glisten Respect Awards. Um, when I was first starting out in Hollywood, one of my very first roles, if not the first one, was playing a gay teenager in a short film called Must Be the Music. And the first time ever meeting a fan of my work, I was shopping with my mother and father um, one weekend, and two gentlemen came up to me, and they told me how important the film was to them, what it meant to them. Uh, they didn't ask for a photograph, they got uh, an autograph, but uh, they were very kind with with what the movie meant to them. And at that point, I knew that it was important to tell these kinds of stories. As an ally, I'm proud to take part in diverse storytelling like Must Be the Music or This Is Us. As a show, we come together each week to show that every American family is just the same, no matter what the makeup of that family may be. I hope that eventually all stories become diverse stories because they will tell you what an American family truly looks like and it will also inspire young people to continue to tell their stories and then teach the next generation. But also as an ally, I know it's even more important to hear these stories directly from LGBTQ people themselves. That is why I am honored to present the Student Advocate of the Year Award to Osa Arhegan. As a senior at Shaker Heights High School, Osa has been a strong supporter of minority and LGBTQ rights. Osa took Glisten's model anti-discrimination policy to their principal, superintendent, and then school board and successfully amended their school's policy to provide protection of students' sexual orientation and gender identity. For the past two years, OSA has also gone to the Ohio State House to talk to legislators about the importance of funding after school time activities and protecting LGBTQ youth in schools, even taking advocacy all the way to DC to lobby to defund abstinence only until marriage sexual health programs in hopes of creating comprehensive sexual education for queer youth. Osa has been one of Glisten's strongest, advocate, strongest advocates for other young people this year, and that is why I am pleased to announce Osa as Student Advocate of the Year.
Thank you. Thank you. Accepting this award fills me with both pride and frustration. Pride because as a leader, an activist, and a queer individual, I feel validated and recognized, but frustrated because as a 17-year-old high school student living in one of the most democratic and opportunity-rich nations in the world, I don't want to have to fight for space to survive. Being a student advocate means being called to action to advocate for my LGBTQ peers. In school, we read Thoreau and examine the effectiveness of civil disobedience. We read Dr. King's letter from Birmingham jail and we study the Revolutionary War. All of these things not only promote the concept of standing up for what is right, but determine it's necessary for a better future. I've heard stories of my peers tell how security guards at our school have told them to keep their politics out of the bathroom and had English teachers stand in front of their class and explain how they refuse to use gender neutral pronouns because they aren't grammatically correct, which for the record is factually untrue. Young people, myself included, with an activist mindset are met with pushback and end up feeling isolated. When queer students don't feel safe and protected in their schools, administrators should be compelled to listen when we push for systematic change. In my state, which is Ohio, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> schools have license to ignore their queer communities because there aren't state or federal statutes put in place to protect us. In schools, the workplace, and everyday life, queer individuals in my town and this country are vulnerable to prejudice, discrimination, and violence. In 2017, as a young person, I'm lucky enough to see people like Frank Ocean or E.J. Johnson or Amanda Sternberg living their truth as queer people of color. That inspires me to do the same. But the same idea of representation is more important on a microcosmic scale as well. In my school and in general, I wanted to see more representation of a queer community. I started sharing my story and opinions from a very black, very queer lens in our school newspaper. And amazingly enough, other queer students allowed me to use my platform as a journalist to share their stories as well. Providing visibility for queer young folk, especially queer young people of color, shows the larger community that we are here to stay and that giving our voices space to advocate can only make us all stronger. I'd like to thank GLSEN for giving me this space to advocate for me and my community and my mom, who's in the back. This platform is all the more encouragement to continue fighting for my beliefs. I'm Osa Aragon, I use they them pronouns, and I am your student advocate of the year.